Hi everyone and uh, welcome to another video. Yes, I will attempt to do some uh, tech myself again after having uh, destroyed a pair of glass in the previous video and also having stabbed myself in the hand in a second video trying to do some repairs. Hopefully third time lucky. Yes, I'm uh, still friend with my Wenger Today I'm not going to use it though, because yes, my hand is better, but I don't want to repeat the same experience as before. The glue is holding on and I'm quite happy. So let's put this on the side. And my glasses as well have had their lenses replaced by my friend at Sirocco. They are also providing the kit for today. So this is going to be my workshop attire for today. The M2 jersey is the core range and the M2 fits quite generously, that's why I'm wearing a medium. I'm trying to, of course, pack the belly in because it's nice, nicely tight. I usually wear large in anything apart from Castelli, where I go extra large. But this is a really good fit, medium for me. The shorts are the SRX Pro and very very comfortable as well. As you know I'm collaborating with Sirocco. If you go on their website through my link that you will find here and in the description you will automatically get a 10% extra discount on top of their offers and I do get a small slice of the purchase. So if you want to help me out and see if you like Sirocco brands I will be very happy. Now the task today is to fit the new bearings into the hub on my front prime wheel. As you noticed, I have both my Ultimate bikes here. The older Ultimate has had the four cut and is sporting the new wheel, while the newer Ultimate, the fork is yet to be cut and I put for now the older wheels on it because yes, in the older wheels, the front bearing, one of the two has collapsed I guess more than uh, corrosion, it would be the potholes in uh, London roads that have caused the front bearings to fail. Now I embark the task for changing the bearings. I took them out at the cost of a stub in my hand and now I bore a quite nice bearing press to push them in without having to bang them on with the hammer and I'm trying this actually in real time while shooting the video so if you see the video I'm still in one piece and the bearings possibly have finally got in in the end okay let's try to put the new bearings in I got them here the new set of bearings the axle and the end caps that will go on either side and the new press now, I can hear you guys maybe screaming at the video, telling, oh, you should do this and you should do that. Unfortunately, I won't be able to hear you and I will try really on the go. So I'm very sorry if it's not the right sequence, but I hope that the final result will still be correct. I'm going to put some grease into the casing of the wheel where the new bearings are going to be on either side and see where it's going to be positioned in the hub. I guess it's very important that it's going to go square because you don't really want to push it in the wrong direction. Let me prepare the press. Okay, I'm trying to line up everything as best as I can and I will gently start rotating the press. I might need to use some persuasion to line it up. Let's try again. Looks like it's going in really well. Mm. 
Okay, looks like he's going in, but he's not yet fully seated. So I might need to use some persuasion. Okay, good and bad news. The good news is the bearing is in. And uh, I have to say it was going in even with the press itself. Then I kept banging on because I thought it wasn't deep enough. But when I put the axle, so it comes out the other side, and the end cap on, I actually found out that it was correctly in. This is, again, my inexperience. I didn't know that it was actually reached the end of the travel and I kept banging with my hammer. So hopefully I haven't done any damage to the wheel. Now I'm going to put the axle through and the other bearing on the opposite side. And I try to use the press again. Okay, press is going up really well. Okay, looks like they are both in. And it spins quite well. Very, very smooth. So, a bit of a stressful experience for me because as you know, I'm very new to this and my record in uh, maintenance is not always been the best. But it seems that the bearings are in, the wheel spin freely and the press actually is a good tool. For 18 pounds that I paid, I'm quite happy. Yes, it is a threaded road and uh, the bearing pieces for pressing in but I have to say for not a big investment it does the job my inexperience really in uh, knowing where to stop pushing and banging actually was maybe the most disconcerting factor in the whole process but I'm trying to do everything on my own I do have a newer set of wheels so that prompted me to use the older one for some experiment and some learning in the maintenance of the bike. I know guys, I have upset most of you that are already experienced. Let me know in the comment what would have been the best way forward. I'm quite happy that the bearings are in and the wheel is ready to go back on the road. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.